It's April 2024. Let's get right into this month's streaming TV news and updates, starting with a big change affecting Disney Bundle subscribers. It's official. Now you can watch Hulu content from the Disney Plus app. But this isn't some money-saving hack like buy Disney Plus and get Hulu free. You need to subscribe to both services for this integration. So basically, it's really more about convenience of accessing the content through a single app. Now from the Disney Plus app, you can click on the Hulu logo to see your on-demand favorites from Hulu, the basic service, not live TV. And maybe you've noticed this, already a lot of Hulu content is on the Disney Plus trending tab. I'm currently paying 99 cents a month for 12 months for Hulu, that's from the Black Friday deal, plus another $2 a month for Disney+. Plus. Disney+, Plus and Hulu, they will both remain available as standalone offerings. First Netflix, then Hulu. Now a password sharing crackdown is coming for Mac subscribers over the next few months. Shout out to Bloomberg for this reporting. If you are sharing a Mac's account outside of your household, you still have a few months until the new rules are expected to take effect. Bloomberg says it'll happen later this year and even into 2025. If you don't want to watch YouTube TV's multi-view on a big screen, well, now you can watch it on a smaller screen, a much smaller screen. I'm talking about iPhones and iPads. The popular multi-view feature that lets you watch up to four channels on a single TV screen, it has now expanded to select mobile devices. Unfortunately, though, still not available while watching from a computer. If you're like me and plan to stop paying for YouTube TV after March Madness and then pick up again when the NFL season starts, just a quick reminder for you. You've got the choice to either pause or cancel your subscription, and that's from your settings. When you pause your subscription, YouTube TV is going to save your current library recordings for when you return. But when you cancel, the service says recordings will expire after only 21 days. If you decide to pause instead of cancel, you can select to resume your subscription anywhere between 4 and 24 weeks, and if you change your mind, you can reactivate at any time. The NFL's shift to streaming continues. Just recently, we learned that Peacock will get another exclusive NFL game, this one during week one of the 2024 season. NBC and Peacock have the NFL kickoff game. That's on Thursday, September 5th. Then the following night is the Peacock exclusive. The game takes place in Brazil. The Philadelphia Eagles will play. Their opponent hasn't been announced. I'll be looking out for deals on Peacock Premium, especially leading up to the Olympics, which start in late July, and you know where to find the updates. Xfinity customers, have you noticed faster speeds yet? The internet provider has increased its data speeds for several of its more affordable plans, and this is for new and existing customers. I really like the speeds for the Connect More and Fast plans now. No price increase with this update, although Xfinity did just raise prices a few months ago. I will say I have seen some pretty good deals for new customers who get the Connect More plan and above. More news from Xfinity just announced. Xfinity Mobile has lowered the price of its unlimited data plans that use Verizon's network. Single line, 40 bucks, two lines for 60 bucks, and four lines, $100 a month. These plans got cheaper, but pricing for the buy the gig plan it actually went up. Now it's $20 per gigabyte. If you've got Xfinity internet, the mobile service is a big money saver for people who want unlimited data. I've tested it, I like the service, and they've got great deals if you're switching. Like right now, buy one line of unlimited, get one line free for a year. I also gotta mention my primary provider, Visible by Verizon. It's added a few perks to its premium plan, smartwatch service, faster hotspot speeds, and more international coverage. More features, but the same price, $45 a month. You may already know, ESPN alone costs pay TV users about 10 bucks a month. Now, thanks to this reporting from The Athletic, we've learned that ESPN's standalone streaming service, it's gonna cost $25 to $30 a month. That service not expected to launch until late 2025. In the meantime, the joint venture from ESPN, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery that's expected to launch in the fall of this year, 2024, and it's expected to cost $40 to $50 a month. If you're someone who forgets to record games, you may be interested in Sling TV's new auto record feature. This is for people who pay $5 a month for Cloud DVR Plus. You can set auto record and Sling will record sports games and let you watch them for up to three days after they air. And the best part, Sling says the feature will not consume your 200 hours of Cloud DVR storage. A quick update from my home state, Mass in the Mid-Atlantic Sports Network is now available to stream on Fubo. 
and that's in addition to DirecTV Stream. This is great for Baltimore Orioles and Washington Nationals fans, but it is not cheap to be a baseball fan right now. Fubo and DirecTV Stream are the two most expensive live TV streaming services. You can expect to pay around $100 a month for either service. Yikes, makes you want to listen to the games on the radio. Here's an interesting move from DirecTV. The satellite service is giving customers the option to opt out of receiving their local stations in exchange for a discount. That discount $140 a year or $12 each month. DirecTV has had a lot of issues negotiating with the owners of local TV stations lately. That's led to channel blackouts in some cases. Unfortunately, this new no locals option isn't for everyone, only the satellite service. A&E, History, and Lifetime. Those channels are no longer included in DirecTV Stream's base entertainment plan. That's according to the service's channel chart. As you see here, the channels are still in the choice plan or higher. Cordcutters News did some reporting on this and said current customers could keep the channels, but they had to opt in. What a pain. Not really a surprise, though. With the way things are going, I expect more changes to the pay TV bundles as the providers try to control costs, and that could mean dropping more channels. You can support this channel, Michael Saves, by going to michaelsavesdeals.com. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you next time.